smarter, and this is how Korean women achieve their body smarter, not harder. So in Korea, there's such thing as diet golden time. It's post period week. After your period ends for one week, your body will produce more estrogen and lower progesterone level, which can boost loss of appetite, burning fat, and body circulation. So during this golden time, if you eat better, exercise, and drink lots of water, then you will definitely lose weight. Disclaimer: This is not scientifically proven. The result will be a placebo effect, but still worth a try. Sheesh. If you have regular Korean celebrities, don't need red carpet because they have airports. They're called Kongang Fashion, airport fashion. Everything is usually sponsored and affiliated. Like literally, everything they wear head to toe gets sold out the minute the pictures are out. We have Jenny from Blackpink. I want this lipstick and this top and this phone case, whatever it is. I want all. She looks so good. What is this angelic outfit? Like I want this. You mean oh my? I want this T-shirt so I can match with my opa. So companies pay celebrities to wear their products, from lipsticks, makeup to clothing, purses, shoes, everything. That's how they make money. It's the most expensive yet most effective marketing. Koreans. Corn silk. All you do, you. Water some water on the fire. You put the corn silk in there. Turn up the stove and let it simmer for 30 minutes, and then you will drink the. Koreans drink corn silk tea too. We call it corn beer tea. Corn silk tea is good for fatigue, high blood pressure, diabetes, and you can find these at any convenience store in Korea. Try it. You might like it. Hey yo! Hey yo! <laughs> Korea is obsessed with mint chocolate right now. How obsessed, you may ask? Do you like mint chocolate? Korea really said, hold my purse! Korea came up with this fried chicken mint chocolate sauce, and it is two pound bag. Girl, it's like a purse. Claim your purse, girl, if you like mint chocolate. Oh, are you a fan of tteokbokki? Well, lucky you, you have mint chocolate tteokbokki. Mm, feeling some noodles? Okay, we got you. Mint chocolate ramen. Yum. I haven't tried any of these dishes, so I can't really judge on these based on the pictures, but not gonna lie, they don't look that appetizing. But let me know which dish you would try or wouldn't try. It's been exactly a year since Targona coffee has broken the internet. But do you know what Targona is? Weird, not so weird Korean snack you probably didn't know. Targona, also known as Bupki, is Korean toffee, and here is how it's made. It is sweet, and the name was established after a Korean phrase, Targuna. Koreans always carve out the shape with a toothpick. Have you tried Targona? Follow for more! If you're moving, you should try Korean Moving Day custom. This is weird, not so weird Korean thing you should know. Kada! It is Korean custom to eat jajangmyeon, black bean noodles on a moving day. After moving, the kitchen isn't ready for use, and many Koreans prefer to eat jajangmyeon in their new home. Every neighborhood has a Chinese restaurant in Korea and available for delivery, which makes it convenient and cost-effective. It costs less than $5 a bowl. Did you know this? Follow for more! This is kongbap. White rice mixed with various legumes such as red beans, black beans, kidney beans, and pea. Although it's packed with healthy nutrients, Koreans didn't like it as much. Weird, not so weird Korean thing you should know. Ta-da! In Korea, kongbap connotes imprisonment. In the past, kongbap was served in jail because beans cost less than white rice. But nowadays, people love kongbap for wellness. Did you know this? Follow for more! 안녕하세요. This can help you succeed. Weird, not so weird Korean thing. You should know. Ta-da! Proper greetings can help you succeed. Koreans say, if you greet, you're already 50% towards success. This simple gesture shows warmth and respect, which will help you succeed in life. This also applies in other cultures. Follow for more. I'm gonna ask you something. Think of desserts. You're probably thinking one of these, but did you know Koreans eat different kind of desserts? Weird, not so weird Korean thing. You should know. Kata! Koreans don't really eat desserts. We eat fruit. We eat fruit at the end of a meal. Strawberries, oranges, kiwi, banana, any fruit we eat it as desserts. But that doesn't mean that we don't eat these type of desserts. We love cakes, we love ice cream, we love creme brulee, we love all the sweets. We eat fruits as desserts along with these sweets. Did you know this? Follow for more! 
I'm gonna let's talk about how much Koreans love kimchi. Most Koreans eat rice and kimchi at all three meals every day. Weird, not so weird Korean thing. You should know. Kimchi is Korean pickled and fermented vegetables. For thousands of years, Korean ate kimchi, and there are hundreds of different kinds. There are napa cabbage, radish, cucumber, green onion, oyster, watery, non-spicy, vegan, so many different variety of kimchi. And that's why it's not so weird to eat rice and kimchi every day. Because there are hundreds of them. Each region has unique kimchi, so you should definitely give it a try. Which kimchi have you tried? And can you eat it every day? Follow for more! Let's I went to Korea to see my husband, Jimin. That's cool. Do you know Korean? I don't need to learn Korean. I even got a tattoo there. Can I see your tattoo? See? Can you read it? I asked to write Jimin's wife. Says crazy b Looks like you need this book. Check out the link in my bio.